Oh. Mission pilot at 4 a.m., two hours, multi class race. Let's go. Well, hello everybody and welcome along to another video and it's really early in the morning here in a 4x annex that clock you just saw which just showed just after three o'clock that's a.m but there's a michelin pilot race at 4 a.m that i really want to do i'm a busy guy i don't get many chances to race so i'm up really early on a saturday to do this the reason i want to do it well we sort of do all right in the gt4s we all do all right at sebring i mean the last gt4 race on this channel you saw we actually won the last Sebring race we did on a fixed Ferrari Challenge we were. Okay, they, they were single split races. This is a top split, and there are 20 GT4s in here. We've decided to use the BMW just to mix it up a bit. You've seen me drive the McLaren and the uh, Mercedes in the past, but this is going to be the BMW. Now, before we actually crack on, I'd just like to say welcome to everybody who's come along from the shout out that Chris Rogers did. The Chris Rogers Sim Racing. I really appreciate the video where you recommended me, Lorenzo, and Pappy to people who want to find out great YouTubers. I'm really excited about that. But rest assured, if you're after short, sharp races, I do a lot of those, and this isn't one of those. So there are plenty of other videos on this channel if you want a 15 or 20 minute fix. But if you're here for the long haul, if you want a two hour race, if you want to join me in that, then we're, that's what we're going to do. We'll head into qualifying. Not too important where we qualify. It's more about keeping out of the way of carnage, potentially, if that happens at the start of the race. But if we get into the top 10, that'd be fantastic. There's 20 in my split in GT4. There's also another 12 TCRs, multi-class race. Let's do it. Let's see how we get on and see how we finish in two hours' time. Okay, everybody, we've managed to qualify P6. Um, there are 20 cars in our class, so we're in the top half. Um, perhaps could have gone a bit quicker in qualifying, but the uh, the two lap times that I did were within one one hundredth of a second of each other. Um, I just messed up the first sector on the second lap. Maybe could have... Grabbed another couple of attempts, but that would perhaps just put us where that Porsche was. Um, not a massive difference. It's all about just trying to get around the first few laps um, without making a mistake, without getting hit, without hitting anybody, and then just settle into a bit of a rhythm um, and see where we can finish. So the guy who got pole is Justin Ream, 6.5k driver. Um, he's probably hoping for a nice clean race as well. Um, hopefully everyone around us is looking for a clean race. This is two hours of driving. Um, Everyone's an individual, as far as I understand. I don't think this is a team event. So, um, yeah, hopefully a lot of sensible people, a lot of A licenses. Um, I can see P7's actually got a C license, but everyone else I can see on my relative. The air temp is 76 Fahrenheit. The track temp has an A is license. 77 Fahrenheit. We don't want to use too much fuel on a warm up lap, but we do need to warm the car up. <laughs> so, I'd rather burn a little bit more fuel than I want to just to make sure that I can actually keep the car warm. We'll meet a longer pit stop later in the race, but for the sake of a split second in that pit stop, I don't want to increase the chances of making a mistake on turn one by not having a warm car. Looking at the number one car, the geodesic car, that black and orange Porsche you can see over there. He doesn't seem to be doing any weaving or warming his brakes or anything, so if he's not doing it, maybe it's no point. Geo, of course, is quite a well-run team. They know what they're doing. And if it made a difference, I'm sure he'd be doing it. Now, it's easy to accidentally bump someone on this uh, warm-up lap, so... <laughs> you've got to keep your wits about you. Not do anything drastic. Act like the person behind you is a beginner. Even though they're, they're not. But just pretend that they are. So don't, don't do anything unpredictable. A few corners to go now. And then we're settling in for two hours. Looks like it's set to be around a 55 or 56 lap race. Because there's a Geo car here, you can perhaps go to the full 56 laps. I'm sure he's quick enough to make it happen. Now we can only fit about 23 laps of fuel in a tank. So we're definitely going to make two stops. We can't do it all as a one stopper. So it means two pit stops. 
And the first pit stop, we've got to be really aware of where our pit, bo pit, uh, pit box is. We don't overshoot if it happens to be at the start of the pit lane. Right, just sunset to go, just the final tricky corner. And you'll see as the race goes on, it will start to get dark as well. So there's a little bit of light still in the sky to start the race, but it's a two hour race. The game time at the moment is 5 to 8 p.m. So a couple of laps time, it'll be gone 8 p.m. So it will start getting dark around Sebring. I won't talk a lot for these first few laps. Please, please forgive me for that, but I just want to make sure we get round okay. We've got to be the outside of turn one, which isn't ideal. Oh, I've hit my rev limiter. Go. Someone's already a victim of the cold tyres. Dead guy up ahead. Very close race today. We managed to get a 0x. Two guys behind are fighting, so they're going to be late on the brakes. Just hold my line here. Well done, Damo. Good start. Now I've gone too deep into the corner. I managed to cover him off. Right, let's look forwards rather than back. Okay, the guy behind's in my toe. You may want to stay there and get a bit of fuel saving, I'm not sure. We'll have to just wait a few laps to see what happens. The Delta you'll see on screen is my best ever lap, but I've got a full tank of fuel, so I'm not going to get anywhere near that. Okay, the guys behind are definitely quicker than me around here. Stay calm. 
Don't do anything strange. Trust that they're not going to hit me. And if they go for a, a lunge, just got to try and be aware of that. The guy ahead has just done a 210.64. Okay, Damo, don't let this guy distract you. Bad corner there. We'll let the front two get away, but I'm really not worried about the front two. I just want a top ten finish here. definitely using more fuel than the people behind me but we'll see how how it goes in terms of fuel economy with the different cars off the pace in sector one. Sector two is 0 0.7 off the pace. You're a tenth off the pace in sector three. But you just go for the remove, I'll let him through. Try and tuck in behind and use his toe. Don't let him get away. Yeah, looks like the guy behind me now in the BMW is fairly sensible. He didn't try and lunge, he's probably sizing me up. I genuinely don't worry. I'm not too worried if he tries to get past. It's a long race, I'm not going to fight. Porsche in front is pushing quite hard to try and break the toe. But I really want to stay in that toe. I've clipped the wall. The leader has just done a 210.49. That's a new fastest lap for Torres. 210.40. What's the speed we're going to do? He's having a look. P4. That lap time was 212.74.
Can't yeah, I'm not sure right. if I've got damage. So I'm going to be a bit cautious to begin with while I try and figure that out. Gap to Campbell in front is now 0.40. I was a bit delayed getting on the power there. The thing is, all these people out qualified me. So I know they're quick. Stay close, wait for him to make a mistake. P5, you're a second off the pace in sector 1. Sector 2 is 0.6 off the pace. Sector 3 is 0.27 off the pace. Okay, there's another move coming. He's backed out of it, which is nice. I was ready to leave that guy room, but he didn't fancy the send. Again, good to see sensible driving. Torres is leading the race. He's made a mistake there, but I'm not quick enough to get a run on him. A little bit of a lift off. Before the braking zone. I think my car feels okay though. Despite the brush with the wall, I don't think it's knocked anything out of alignment. Okay mate, we really think you should pass this guy. That's your best lap in this session. Ow, what the hell, man? What the hell? No apology, already. Oh, there's an apology now. Slower car ahead. We're racing this guy for position. Don't expect a blue flag. Okay, has that damaged our car? Looks like we're down in P14 now. So we're outside of the top 10. 
But if that's the only big thing that happens in this race, that's not too bad. Accidents happen. All I can do is now drive okay. Try not to let something like that happen again. We'll have a look after the race and what happened, but I don't think it was malicious. He just kind of... He just didn't expect me to be breaking there. I'm not sure why he wouldn't expect me to be breaking there, but... It seemed like he just kind of got caught out a bit. Maybe he was... The gap in front is now 1.3. Fixated on me rather than his breaking point. Got target fixation. Slower class car. You're approaching a group of slower class cars. <laughs> Jim keeps telling me that, but I can't see them yet. <laughs> They're not on my relative. Just done a two ten or two four. Not really anywhere to go here. But let's Porsche on the inside. Right, I think that means we've got the Aston. Yeah, we've got one of them. Thirteenth place. Oh, someone coming out of the pits. Lower class car ahead. A bit clumsy. I thought I was going to have more room than that. I've said thanks, I already meant to say sorry. Hopefully I haven't damaged this car. Or mine. But it's now five seconds up to Mel. Oh, I've outbreak myself there. Right, come on, let's catch Mel. Come on.
We're not catching Mel, which is a bit of a concern. And I'm not going to if I drive like that. Not sure if I'm carrying a little bit of damage or not. But Mel and Benoit are just over six seconds ahead. Let's do what we can. We'll just do what we can. I haven't caught those back markers that Jim promised us. Oh, a bit late on that. Oh, Damien. Lost three temps there in one corner. They're battling up ahead. They are battling. Managed to break the toe to Keizo to behind. Yeah, it's a bit late on the brakes again there. If we are carrying damage, it's not a lot. We'll see when we pick, because it'll say how long it takes to repair the car, but the car doesn't feel bad.
Definitely see the battles ahead of me now. Hopefully I'll be part of those battles before the end of the race. That's half fuel. You've used half your fuel. Gap behind is now almost two seconds. So that's quite cool. So we're really looking in front at this battle. Thank you. Yeah, they're side by side in front. This is Mel and Max. Just over three seconds up the road now. So we have caught them up a little bit. Oh, so this is lap 12, and probably the 12th different line I've taken through that final corner. There's no right answer around there, but there's a lot of wrong answers. You've just done a 211.00, sector 2 is 0 0.47 off the face. 211 flat, that one. Okay, Damo, there's a group of slower cars ahead. These guys are busy fighting each other. Again, I can't see any TCR cars on my relative yet, so I'm not sure what he means by slower cars. Does he just mean people in my class who are driving slower than me? Because that's all I can see. A little bit late on the brakes there, so I took a later apex in the corner to get a bit of a run out. Still lost a couple of attempts. But we are now catching Mel. We're now closer to Mel in front than we are to Kizo behind. Bit too cautious there. <coughs> More of the leaders or lappers, maybe. Justin's just at a 210 flat. Oh, we can't do a 210 flat. <laughs> We're not worried about the leaders though, we're just worried about that top 10. That lap was a 211.17. Change down there. I thought I needed to change down, but I didn't. Right. Looks like we're going to pit in nine laps.
the two in front really are battling a lot. With Mel trying to get past Max. They're definitely not going to be easy to pass if we manage to catch them before the pits. But look like they're both fair drivers. The leader has just done a 210.08. In. Okay, they're one and a half seconds ahead of me now, so I'm not quite in their toe. Maybe this lap I can get within a second. Just done a 210.83. That's your quickest lap. Sector 2 is 0 0.5 off the pace. Oh, I've got my off track. Mistake there. He managed to hold it, or she managed to hold it. And now what am I doing? I'm climbing curbs. What am I doing? Right, come on, Mel. Let's get Mel. nice to race against sensible people but it doesn't mean you don't pick up many freebies <laughs> it's very rare you see someone at the side of the road they do make you work for it If I can't get past these guys, then I could perhaps consider an early pit stop. Fill up the car, I mean a longer final pit stop. Okay, Damo, your lap time's pretty consistent. <laughs> but we mean I don't get held up by these guys. But it might mean we get held up by some even slower people. It would also mean maybe we're not going to catch the... TCR cars will be held up by them, although I think they're not going to be too hard to get past compared to the uh, the slower GT4s. Alright, has Mel made it stick this time? They are side by side. Mel's still got the inside for their right hander coming up. early on the brakes here because I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, Mel's made the move. Right. That was a bit too cautious there, so I've now dropped back from Max. But it's a long race. I'm not in a rush. Saw how long it took Mel to get past. And now Max has got Mel's toe. Mm. 
<clears throat> Definitely run wide there. I just wasn't close enough to take advantage. Extra. I have a look, but I didn't really intend to. It's just that they were a bit early on the brakes than me. I don't want to go into the back of them. Max has run a bit wide. Right, Max no longer has Mel's toe. Which might make overtaking a bit easier. Even in the toe here though, I haven't really got that much straight line speed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're going to pit then. Speed limit is 72 kilometers per hour. Box in 350 meters. We'll need to stop again. <coughs> Campbell is now leading. <coughs> what was that, Max? What was that? 100 meters. <coughs> 50 meters. <coughs> well, early pit stop then. I can't believe that. Just drove me into the pit lane. Ah, oh dear. Well, we're getting more fuel. <laughs> and we're up in the air, which means we'll probably get tyres as well. I think I'll have a quick look on my black box. I don't know what that was about. What have I got? Yeah, I think they're replacing my tyres. Good. So an early stop. <laughs> Hopefully still only need two for the race. But we'll see. There's traffic approaching. Watch your mirrors. There's a group of slower cars ahead. Torres is now in the lead. I really don't understand what that was about. It just drove me into the pit lane. Oh well. We've got out just in front of the TCRs. We're on cold tyres again now. There's a TCR back marker in front of us. I think Max is going to go past. Hopefully I'll get past as well. Yep, I've got a pass as well. We'll have to look at that after the race because I'm really confused about what he was doing there. I was on the inside around Sunset and he just kept turning into me to push me into the pits. What was the motivation there? I mean...
So we did have over a minute of optional repairs, which I chose not to take. Car doesn't feel too bad. It's obviously a little bit slow, but I don't want to spend a minute in the pits, really. If this was a 12 or 24 hour race, then of course I'll probably take them, but... It says P11, but I won't be P11. Just having a funny because it can't see a lot of the cars around the other side of the track, so Jim doesn't know they're there. Well, certainly an eventful race. Not the plain sailing we were hoping for. Yeah, my relative's showing that I'm P17 right now. That wasn't deliberate, that wasn't deliberate. Where's my sorry button? There's an incident in Cunningham. Wasn't deliberate, that wasn't deliberate. I'm already on 13x. What a disastrous race this is. Right, we've got a three point oh three K driver behind us. And our car's damaged. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to keep Josalo behind us. At this point now I'm not really worried about where I finish the race, I just wanna actually just finish it. It's been a horrible race. Torres is leading the race. I left the room on the inside, but it bumped into me. Right, let's just drive to the end of this race, pick up what we can. The car doesn't feel right. The car really doesn't feel right. Slow car ahead. This guy's racing us for position. He won't get a blue flag. Thank you. No worries, mate, no worries. Holy shit, what the hell was that all about? It's like, I'm not the only one having fun. <laughs> Apologies for the language in this video. I'm not sure I'll have time to go through it all and, uh, and bleep everything.
Oh, Jay, that move doesn't work when you don't leave space on exit. Oh, I'm on 14x already. Still just over an hour of the race left. Anything can happen. Mistakes. Concentrate. V13. Your lap time was at 212.56. Showing we're only six seconds behind Mel. So I'm not sure what's happened to them. But we'll try and take that position if we can. They haven't pitted yet. or well, they might have pitted, but because um, they were so far ahead, my, um, my apps haven't registered it. A bit late in that. Right, I need to concentrate. So, just gonna knuckle down now. Get into a rhythm. Tick off the laps. Okay. 
cannot afford off tracks. It's so hard when the car's carrying a bit of damage. It's slow on the straights, it's unpredictable in the corners. Yeah, look at that understeer. Where's that come from? It's not done that any other lap. That's what I mean about unpredictable. It's like Josalu. I oh, know. Is that Max? You're last. I'm last. <laughs> Massive understeer. Suddenly, last couple of laps. No, no idea why. Try and drive around it. If we know it's going to be understeery, we can just try and pivot the car a bit earlier. Slight tweak to my own driving style. Right, Keizo is right behind me now, three seconds behind, so I'm not sure what happened to Keizo. It was Keizo that hit us at the start of the race. So we're definitely in a race now against him. I could get that front end in again. Come on, come on. The understeer around there is so frustrating. See the time I'm losing down the straights as well. Okay, at least the car's still working. We're still running. We've not had to make 10 minutes of repairs. We're still, I believe, we're still on a lead lap. Come on. Right. All I can do is my best and adapt to what's in front of me. And this understeery car isn't going to get better if I sit here and grump about it. I'm going to have to just drive differently. Make the best of it. Slower class car ahead. Gonna wind the brake balance back just a little bit. What's he doing? He's weaving in front of me. Is he broken or is he trying to warm up his tires? What's going on? Which way are you going, mate? What's he doing? What's he covering me off? What the hell? Now he's backed off. Come on. I'm trying to take a slightly later apex to get the car pointed in the right direction before I accelerate. So that sorts out the corner exit. Um, for the corner entry, I've, I've wound the brake balance back one click. Not a lot, but hopefully it tries to get the back end to do a bit more of the work. Pivot the car a bit more.
that lap was a 212.58. The 212s, it's not very good, is it? I suppose I did have to lap a TCR on that one. And we are pulling away from Kazo. That might just be because kazo has got a full tank and I haven't. It looks like on the relative that we are actually ahead of Max. Did we overtake Max? I'm not sure what happened. I'm a bit lost about what, what stage of the race we're at. Who's done what? My relative's actually showing me a P10. Oh, I'm not sure how accurate that is. But that was the aim, a top 10. So if that's true, that's all right. But we're dropping back from uh, Mel and Edgar. They're now 10 seconds ahead of us. Come on, I just need to drive well. I just need to drive well. This is not over. If they make a mistake, they could lose that 10 seconds. Coming up on a slower class car. Mel's got past Edgar. So Edgar's now nine seconds ahead. Right, I got past that guy fairly easily, so that was a blessing. Still lost half a second on that sector though. But right, Edgar's, Edgar's still nine seconds ahead. The gap to Ruiz ahead is now 8.9 seconds. 8.9, that's nine, isn't it? No, yeah, nine seconds to Edgar. Just about see his headlights in the distance. We're halfway through. We think about 29 minutes of fuel remaining. Halfway through the race and we've already got 14x. It's going to be a really tough second half. Edgar's pulling away from us. We just haven't got the pace. That last lap was a 212.00. Consistency, keep them coming. Yeah, I need people around me to make mistakes because I haven't got the pace in the car today.
to Ruiz. Ahead is increasing. It's now 9.5 seconds. Yeah, it looks like we're in the pocket where the people behind are slower, the people in front are faster, so we're getting an increasing size pocket here. Driving on our own. Hoping other people make mistakes. Just feel like the car's about a second a lap off the pace. Sectors 2 and 3 are 0.6 off the pace. Sector 1 is 0 0.38 off the pace. I think I'm starting to get used to how to drive this car, minimise the loss. Still not quick though. Whew. Hopefully now start to get a lighter car, less fuel on board. We didn't manage to get that part of our race because we pitted early, we haven't actually run this car on lower fuel levels. And everyone else has been through that period in their car. We've still got that to come. Not a bad lap, that one. That was a Gap in front is less than nine seconds now. Still a long way. Nine seconds is a lot, but at least we're reducing it. You're reeling. Ruiz in. The gap's now 8.5 seconds. 8.5, okay. Hopefully he's getting messages to say the car behind him is reeling him in. Puts a bit of pressure on. He might just speed up. <laughs> but he might start to overdrive. I don't know. I can only control myself. Oh, I can just see some headlights ahead. Right, I think that's 30 laps done. What are you doing now? What are you doing? 
Whew. Yeah, sorry I'm not talking a lot. And it got dark. <laughs> Let's do a mid-race shout out. There's so many people I could name, and there's lots of YouTubers I want to name. But actually, because this is my first real endurance race, I want to just shout out once again to Verano Motorsport. The team I'm part of. And you'll find a link to their Discord in the, um, in the description for this race. But they've got a couple of uh, teams doing the Sebring 12 hour this weekend, so rooting for them. Ah, I'm to steer. <laughs> I'm going to have to concentrate if I've got any chance of catching Edgar. Well, especially when we're going to have a longer fuel stop than he will. Because we stopped early. Means we're going to have to stop early again. And put in more fuel. Just notice that Keizo's no longer the person chasing me. It's someone called Will. A 2.5k driver called Will Coffee. I imagine. Your lap time was 211.76. He'll turn up sooner rather than later. Oh, lost a lot of time there. Whoa. Gap to Ruiz ahead is now 8.4. Bad lap because I'm trying to sort my tyres out while I'm driving. For the next pit stop. So Will's gained a lot on me on that lap because I was faffing around with my black box. You've just done a 212.75. Right. right, we've got a TCR in front of us now. slower car. But 
The gap to Ruiz ahead is now 9.5 seconds. Your last lap time was at 2.12.00. Won't give me third gear, won't give me third gear. Just trying to change that to third, it wouldn't let me have it. Don't turn in on me. Whoa! Okay. Campbell is now in the lead. Don't hit me. Not sure what happened at turn one there, just couldn't get round the corner. And it wouldn't let me downshift to third to get the car to pivot in. The leader has just done a 209.65. So it's like the leader's having a lovely time with the 209s. Torres is now leading. Bit strange, so the leader gets a purple lap, but Torres is leading. I don't know. Again, okay, it might just be a blip with the uh, crew chief. If I've not drawn enough cars in the settings, maybe it's not pulled where the leader is or something, I don't know. Relax, focus, keep it smooth, P9. Yes, he thinks we're P9 when we're not. So I think it doesn't know where the leader is. Campbell is now in the lead. Right, we might get a lot of those messages from Jim then, because I don't think he knows where the leaders are, so he keeps thinking other people are leading. OK, 
Okay, Will is currently <coughs> stuck behind David. I can see him in my rearview mirror. I wonder if David will make it easy for him to get past. Yeah, it looks like he's going to pass on the straight. Will will be with us in the next five laps, I think. We've only got a six. Well, I've only got five laps of fuel on board. Okay, that's turn three. You won't find the word Christensen on any track map online that I found, anyway. But yeah, Christensen is turn three. Named after Tom Christensen. Yeah, but where's the car, Jim? Okay. Yeah, it looks like it's just a uh, a back marker. Kevin, that's lost a lot of time. So that's not for position. All right, Damo. The next car is Ruiz. But Ruiz is uh, over 12 seconds ahead now. Is now leading. I don't think he is, Jim. Yeah, a couple of uh, lapped cars in front. So don't get excited if you see cars in <laughs> in front of me. P8. Not P8. Very much P10 with P11 catching. Now 11 seconds. Well, wow, it's 11.7. But we know we're going to have to have a longer pit stop than Edgar Ruiz. Be very surprised if we make any impact on his race at all. Twenty to six in the morning. <laughs> this is worth getting up for. <laughs> Who needs sleep, eh? The guy in front is Torres. Is it? That's like Ruiz. Ruiz to me.
I think Jim might be struggling with the early morning. Slower class car ahead. So first of all is Hamish is in the TCR, P4 and TCRs. A 4.2 rated driver, so hopefully uh, fairly sensible. Come on, those bumps. Really tricky when you've got an understeering car. <laughs> I say is there's TCRs here who are probably understeering so bad. At least my power's going from my rear wheels. I can't imagine what they're like. Let me past. It's a nice event. Okay, Damo. Five minutes of fuel remaining. Five minutes. P7. Torres is now leading. Cup time is pretty consistent. Yeah, so two laps falling into pit. Slow down too much there for that corner. I might actually pit at the end of the next lap. Oh, uh, this lap I mean. And not risk running out of fuel because looking at my uh, fuel data, I've only just got enough for two laps over the line. And we know that our pit, bo uh, pit box is quite far down the pit lane. I don't want to be stuttering down the pit lane. Come on. <clears throat> so Will is just five seconds behind now. He stopped on lap 23. Oh, really a struggle with the understeer. Campbell is now in the lead. Oh, still again that, I don't want to keep moaning about it, but it's really, really tricky to drive this car fast with the understeer. I'm going to come into the pits. I believe everything is ticked that needs to be ticked, so... I'm going to come into the pits and get that sorted now. The car in front is Torres. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Okay, Damo, we'll fuel you to the end of the race. It might clear some of the um, optional damage as well. Now we're here somewhere. Meters. There's my man, there's my man. 50 meters. Into first gear. All right, quick look to see if he is going to be sorting my tyres out. Yeah, let's sort my tyres out. still going in. He 
fuel's in, but we're still changing tyres. All clear. Push now. Slower class car ahead. Okay, the race leaders are coming round. <clears throat> I don't want to hold them up, but I've got cold tyres. So I'll be as sensible as I can be when the time comes. Blue flag. Blue flag. Okay, just it's just one point two behind now. Blue flag. I understand. Blue flag. Blue flag. Right, let's see if we can stick with this guy. It's nice to see the leader of the race, even if we are a lap down. Blue flag. So Miguel's now less than a second behind. Right, we'll stick behind these until they pit. Hopefully I've got the, ca the pace to keep up with them. Just feeling that understeer again. Oof. So down in P15 now. Lost a bit of time obviously letting those guys pass, but I really don't want to ruin their day, so. It's like there's 35 seconds back to P3. Fast, but we need fast right now. P13. Once again, Jim saying we're P13, but we're not.
Those guys, of course, are also on lower fuel than I am because I've now got enough to get me to the end of the race. They'll be pitting in a few laps. I think my tyres are up to temperature now. Seems like I've got a fair amount of grip. And my fuel meter is showing that I do have enough fuel for the race. Incident in Le Mans. We think it might be Jen's yellow flag. Caution. So that is for position. Torres is leading the race. Oh, it looks like he's taken out the leader. Justin is now directly in front of us. Oh, I think Justin might have had a coming together with that guy. Wow. It's just in damaged, he's carrying on. He's carrying on, get a little bit of a toe that we didn't expect. B12. Well, I'm sure he's gonna have to bit between his teeth now to catch. So that's turn three. Oh, sugar. Oh, I nearly went off there. This is Christensen here. No yellow flags though. Still 24 minutes of this race to go. Stuff can still happen. Currently showing us P14, so losing 51 I rating at this point. There's a chance we might make up some more spots when other people uh, pit. But I think because our car is slow, there aren't many people within that range. Just see how these leaders are pulling away from us. Peter's in the pits. That was a 211.70. Okay, Damo. That's good consistency. Keep it up. But these leaders must be pitting in the next lap or two. 
based on how much fuel the tanks hold that seems to check out so they might pit this lap Yeah, the leader Torres is pitting. Torres is pitting, but Justin's managed to save a bit of fuel and regains the lead. Your lap time was at two eleven point zero nine. That's not a bad lap, really. Considering we are damaged. minutes remaining you've got 20 minutes left come on get your head back into it keep it smooth focus on these lines okay how many of those things do you want me to do Jim? <laughs> eggs bacon bread milk Purcell Mother's Day card Okay, there's David again, the TCR, just in front of us. So I think he was quite tricky to pass before. I'll try and make it as easy as possible this time. Slower class car ahead. Is he pit it? Nope. So Justin's continued. Okay, Damon. Yeah, another lap. Torres. Yeah, you keep telling me it's Torres. I'm not even sure who Torres is. It's Jim watching the right race. Alright, we've got to pass him soon enough this time. No oh, turn! Ah!
So Will's managed to jump me in the pits. 12. Sector 2 is 1.4 seconds off the pace. And so is Kazo by looks of things. Yeah, that's Kazo. He's definitely jumped me in the pits then, but my tyres will be up to temperature. Can I take advantage even on a damaged car? Come on. Right, the gap is Now within a second, okay. All right, Damo, we're gaining on the car in front. The gap's now 0.7. 15 minutes remaining, 15 minutes to go. 15 minutes sprint race to try and catch him. Put him under pressure. I can't afford a 4X though. I'm in his toe, but not making a lot of difference. It's going to be so hard to overtake, I just haven't got that straight line speed. The lead car's pitting. So that'll put us back on the lead lap. P11. I'm actually P12, not P11. Right, really close to him now. Right. Right. You're gaining on this guy, the gap's now 0 0.06. Please let me past. <laughs> I picked up a 1x in the process. Let's see if we can pull away from him. Definitely sticking with me on the straights. Right, 0 0.9 the gap now. <clears throat> That's last. I mean, there's literally someone right behind me, Jim. I'm not sure how I could be last. You just watch me overtake someone. <laughs> I wonder if he's regretting letting me pass now. <laughs> I'm not pulling away, so...
Maybe he just needed my toe. Right, it's one point three back now. <clears throat> yeah, I think we might have the pace to pull away from him. Now that he's out of our toe, don't make any mistakes. I think we'll be all right. 10 minutes of the race to go. Okay, Damo, 10 minutes to go. That's 10 minutes left. Come on, head up. Keep your focus further down the track. P9, that was a 210.93. Again, we're not P9. It's just making stuff up. 8.4 up to Will. But we know from earlier on in the race he's got the speed on us because he was catching us before the pits. So we're showing us P11. Unless anything drastic happens, it's the best we're going to be able to do. I don't want to give Keizo behind a sniff that he can overtake though. I don't want to get in a battle. Whoa! That lap time was 2.11 or 2.9. Ah, <sighs> oh, get in! Yeah, Kato actually caught me a little bit there. Couldn't get the nose in again. I actually felt quite good around that corner that time. <laughs> Alright Damo, you've got 10 minutes of fuel remaining. Okay, 6 minutes of race remaining, 10 minutes of fuel. So we can definitely do the final lap.
Yeah, Will still nine seconds ahead. Okay, Damo, five minutes to go, five minutes left. Bringing it home now. Pulling away from the guy behind, not catching the guy in front. So, Hamish again in the TCR, just in front of us. Uh, yeah, we'll probably will catch him before the end of the race. Alright, looks like there's three laps to go. Your last. That lap was at 211.45. You're coming up on a slower car. Please be cool, Gavin. Break too late. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. Right, what we're we gonna do here? We estimate you've got five minutes of fuel remaining. Times are dropping off. Come on, you can do better than this. Okay, hopefully we'll get the white flag on the next lap.
We're going to be very close to running out of fuel. So if we don't get the white flag, we might be in a bit of bother. <laughs> No, I was just goofing around and uh, being a dumbass and got a drive through. Okay. okay, so Mel and Jacob, I think I've had it coming together. So Jacob is only two seconds ahead of us. But it's only one lap to go. So not really much I can do to catch him. Slow car ahead. We're on the same lap, so they'll get no blue flag. White flag. We have the white flag. One more lap to go. We're running on fumes, mate. I know, mate. Yeah, he's 1.6 seconds ahead with one lap to go. I know, you're not sure I'm going to be able to do it. Fireworks are going off. The leader has passed the start finish line. Okay, gap's now 1.2. We are catching, but come on. There's a back marker that might get involved. Try my absolute hardest here. Just set a purple sector through that last one. One second. Come on, Damo. Push, push, push. We can get this guy. Slower class cars ahead. Two litres remaining. Campbell is now in the lead. Two minutes to go. Two minutes. Two minutes, Edward. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a good fight. I think I only won on those two real times you got. Come on! There's an incident in turn one. <laughs> I couldn't oh quite do gosh, it. Yeah. I couldn't quite do it. Incident in Christensen. P11. There's the check. P11. At least Jim knows where I am now. Wow. Let's cruise around. We haven't got much fuel left. Managed to save a little tiny bit on that final lap. Let's get out of the car before anyone hits us. <laughs> okay, we could just have a look at that uh, that instant on uh, what I think was lap seven. But it's things. This is the start of lap seven. We're here and it's, it's dark, but you can see um, we're there. And I think this is the guy that just ran into the back of us. Um, so we'll just play that in full speed and just see how it looked. Yeah, it just clipped us a little bit. Just clipped us a little bit. Um, like I, said, I don't think there's any really real malice in this, but it's just such a shame, isn't it? This is coming up across the line into turn one. We're in a nice little train here. Maybe I'll break a little bit early. A bit of net code. He tried not to make it any worse than it was. Yeah. 
I think my breaking point is perhaps caught him by surprise. He's tried to swing left. Just clipped me, but has he even really clipped me? Oh, it's a bit wobbly, but... I'm right close to the wall, on the brakes. He then goes to miss me. Yeah, that was just Netco. He didn't intend to do it. He then tried to stop. A real shame, but yeah, no malice. No malice in that, really. Um, we'll have a look on board his car as well. Yeah, he didn't really react to my brakes being on there, really. Have another quick look. Um, just listen to his car. Just you, You'll see my brake lights come on, and I don't think we see a change in his engine noise. Yeah, I think he tried to send it up the inside, and it was just a um, just a bit of net code. So it's a real shame, but never mind. Okay, this is the thing, the one that really kind of changed our race. Um, this was with Max, where he kind of kept pushing us over and over and over, rather than just running side by side to the point where we smashed into the barrier coming into the pits and had to take an early pit stop. So we'll have a um, a quick look at that as well. I'll have a look at it again from my point of view. Um, just relive it. So at this point, I'm happy to follow him, but he goes so wide. My normal line is to try and take an apex here, so I come in here. And at this point, we can run side by side, and he just comes across me. And hits me. Into the barriers. So we'll rewind that. We'll have, a look, have another look on board his car. Max Carpechin. Um, so unfortunately, you're not going to see any mirrors or anything here, but obviously you, you know what happened. So you can picture where I am. See if there's um if this is on me. I'm a bit late arriving on the scene, but I'm definitely on his inside here. Yeah, see at that point maybe that looks like it is me. So he will probably feel that that was my fault. But I'm expecting him to be running side by side, going out left to use all the road. Um, and he just doesn't, he just keeps it really tight. At this point, I'm expecting him to drift out left, so we're running side by side. And he doesn't. And we end up there. At least he waits for me to kind of pull so we can get into the pits together. At this point, I'm not even thinking of overtaking it, but because it goes so wide and my line is on the inside, I'm just going, okay, we're going too wide here. It just doesn't really... Yeah. I don't know. I mean, every other lap. Let's, let's have a look at his previous lap. So we'll go back and just bear in mind his line here. Um, so this is what he did on the lap where we came together. So at this point... I would say that he's definitely aiming closer for the, um, the cones on the inside than he is the wall on the outside. I'll have a look at that again. We'll have a quick look at the previous lap. See if that is this line. See if he does dive towards the cones on the inside. Maybe that's what he does. Um, so this is on board him now. Coming through here. So it takes that wide line, which is cool. Comes back in. And then he heads towards the barrier on the outside. So his line is right out here. This is where he was on the previous lap. Like everyone else. Drifts out to the left, all the way over the cat's eyes, near the barrier. That's his normal line around there. Then we'll skip to this one and just compare that to the line he takes here. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments anyway. Um, yeah, I mean, we were nowhere near a fuel stop, so it's not like I would have ever expected him to be coming into the pits. He didn't tell me he was pitting in. You know, it's 
decency to do if you're likely to pit out of sequence and someone's coming up your inside. Um, so I don't think he was coming into pits. I think he just decided that he wanted to squeeze me as much as possible and there wasn't enough room. But if you, if you feel that that's 50-50 or my fault, absolutely do tell me because I need to learn from this stuff. Again, I always want to look and just think, what could I have done a bit differently? Um, in hindsight, it's easy to say, well, don't go for the move. But I was, I was literally just taking my line. Um, you've watched the whole race. I think you can understand that my line through there is to, to keep quite tight. Try and hug this barrier on the inside here. So as far right as possible. Then get on the power here. I actually delayed the power because I can still see him on my left. And um, yeah, we should have been able to run side by side. I was quite happy to stay as far right as possible. Almost clip those um, cones and run alongside the wall. But I just don't know if he, he left me that gap. So we're going slow motion this time. Um, so here I'm thinking about... Yeah, he's already there. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I'll do for, for that instant. Um, I'll let you leave a comment about that. Um, and let me know what you think and see what... Um, yeah. I'll take it on the chin if you feel that that was something I did wrong. I I really, really did not think that he'd have any reason to squeeze me that hard on the right. Um, I thought he was going to drift out to the left. Um, I don't know. Okay, we're going to have a look at the incidents in this race. There's obviously going to be quite a few of them. Um, but we'll see what we can see. Uh, start the race here. So it's gone straight to the first lap. Oh, of course, that's what took out the seven car. He did it all on his own. We... <laughs> We ended up catching up with that guy later in the race and letting him pass because he had more speed than us, but damage there. Oh, a spin. No contact, just collected a cone. Now what's he going to do? He's waiting for the gap. Is he going to get out before the TCRs? He's got a cone with him. Oh no, what's he going to do? The TCRs are coming. And he's got that cone stuck under the car. Okay, next instant. Oh, a spin coming through turn one. Ah, oh. yeah, lost the front of his car. Okay, into turn one. These are the TCRs. What's happening here? Oh, we just scraped the wall on the inside. You might see a lot of that. Okay, this is me. What's going on here? Oh, a little bit of a bump for the two cars behind. Nothing major there. Uh, Aston and a Mercedes. And a Mercedes just spins a lot of that early in the race with these Mercedes. Is he going to rejoin safely? We'll stick on board just for just a, another moment or two. Reverses onto the grass. I think he's doing everything he can to find a gap. So we won't dwell on that. Next. We're actually going to see him rejoin. Are we going to see him rejoin? Maybe they're just going to sit there. And they've just towed. Okay, TCRs again. This could be another wall scrape. I think we're going to see a lot of this. Yeah, just a wall scrape. Here's me. What's going on here? This is my wall scrape. Yep, just clip the inside there. This is the 29. Is this going to be another wall scrape? Yep. TCR, what's going on here with the number 16 car? A spin. A spin. Who's lost a headlight? <laughs> Not sure what's happened there. Oh, another wall scrape. We'll skip that then. And I think this might be the incident that we were involved in with that net code. Yeah, I mean, like I say, there's no, no real malice there. I don't know why we look. Oh, he, he did a wall scrape. Um, no malice, but he just held it. Just a clip of the barrier. Okay, two Mercedes side by side. Oh, yeah, just a rub there as he was trying to switch back. Gotta switch back if you're that close to someone. Okay, TCRs. I don't think this is a wall scrape. It seems a bit early for a wall scrape. Oh, it's a wall scrape on the entry to the corner. And this is us coming into the pits. Inadvertently. Yeah, there's no room there. What's he doing? Oh, anyway. Yep, yeah, so that kind of put the end to our race. At least he waited there for me to get out of the way. Running wide. How's your rejoin? He's trying not to rejoin poorly. <laughs> oh dear. We're looking in the pits. Oh, this is just uh, me and the Aston getting close on the exit of the pits, I think. I don't think this is actually an incident, is it? No, that's nothing there. 
Again, this is me and the Aston. Oh, and I clipped him. Of course I did. Yeah, of course I did. Absolutely was not intentional. It was not intentional. I said that in the race. Me again. Oh, full of actions. What's going on here? A tap at the back. Again, nothing intentional there. No harm done on that one, I don't think. The car was a little bit damaged already, so not the end of the world. Okay, an incident that doesn't involve me. That's quite nice. Oh! Oh, blinking. Blinking doesn't help anybody. Don't know why it was showing us that then. Okay, what have we got here? Is this the uh, Aston coming around? Nothing too exciting there. Okay, so this could be another wall scrape. Yep, just a wall scrape. More wall scrapes. Okay, coming into sunset. TCR GT4. GT4 tried not to hit the TCR and that's what happened. Okay, the TCR have one headlight. Another spin. Another spin. It's just a blinker. Not sure what we're looking at here. Okay, GT4. And I think we took advantage of this. Yep, spin there. Ooh, oh, and that's how the leader collected him. So let's have a look at the leader here. He comes around, and of course that orange Porsche is now recovering. And Justin, we'll see as he comes around Le Mans. Probably got nowhere to go. No. Oh, life flashed before his eyes. Justin. That gave the lead to... Um, to the other car. Although, I think Justin ended up with the, the win in the end. Oh. Some switchbacks going on here. And a spin on the grass. Is he going to collect another car? Oh, very close. Okay, the Aston Martin. Not sure what we're looking at here. Nothing seems to have happened. Nope, nothing wrong there. This will be a wall scrape. Not worried about that. Another wall scrape. And that's it. That's the end of that. Okay, the results are in. And of course, they do make for slightly grim re uh, reading, but it's, uh, it could have been a lot worse. Check for field 2458. We actually managed to gain safety rating just because of the sheer number of laps and corners that we completed, um, despite having um, a fair number of incident points during the race. Lost a bit of safety, uh, of eye rating, but you know what? Could have been so much worse than that. So we're still over 2.8. But yeah, we managed to actually gain safety rating. Um, in terms of the championship, we gained 65 points. I might even continue to do this championship. Um, not a great start to it, to be honest, but just a bit of fun, just to kind of um, give me something to, to aim for. I might actually be concerned about championship points. But there we go. So we finished P11, 11 in class, of course. Car number nine. Um, we started P6. And our fast lap was a 2.10.8, whereas these guys did 2.09.6s. So we're, we were a second a lap off the pace. Um, that was done on lap 14, where we had a bit of damage from that initial uh, punt, but not the main damage that we got from the Aston Martin. Um, we may have been able to kind of continue in this sort of region, but I'm not too, too worried. You know what? It would have been so much worse. P11, lost 21 I rating. I will take that. Well, <laughs> it is what it is. We managed to get through the race. We didn't quit. And although we were still on the top 10, you know what? P11 and a little bit of I rating loss is fine as long as we've managed to get a little bit of safety rating up there. Fun race. Shame about the incidents. Really, really good that I ended up coming together with Max again a couple of uh, laps after the, the pit entry incident. Um, I, I really hope he, he knows that that wasn't intentional. So, yeah, <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it. The usual things here. I mean, God. I'm, st I'm still a bit like, oh, you know, it's now what 6.52 in the morning that I'm doing this outro. So it's still quite early for me. But if you've enjoyed it, then please, please do give the video a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, most of the races are shorter than this, but I might do a few of these. So if you want to see more iRacing, then please do subscribe. But if you do, there'll be a notifications bell in your settings. You can set that to all, then you'll know when I go live or put a video up, which is great for me and great for you. Uh, until next time, if you're doing a race at Sebring this weekend, including the 12 hours, like my friends at the Verano team, then good luck to you. I hope you have a clean race. Um, you'll be driving cars that are faster than the ones I've done now, so I can imagine it's going to be quite the ordeal. Uh, have fun. Leave a, a note in the comments to say how you did, and if you've got a YouTube video as well, let me know and I'll go and check that out as well. But for now, I'm going to leave you with a couple of videos that I really think you're going to enjoy. <laughs>